What's up, you guys? Thanks for tuning in to this quick video today. All right, so we got a little bit of news from practice today. Some good news with the Kirby Doc injury. Taking over the news this week, we have Christian Dvorak in a red practice jersey, which means he's now no longer in a non-contact jersey. He's returning to normal practice, likely going to be taking some hits. He's going to be able to take in practice as a normal participant, and it looks like his return could be imminent very, very soon, which is good news. It's actually very good news because we need him. We're going to need the center depth with Kirby Doc going down with injury, as I mentioned in my last video, I believe. So Christian Dvorak, a guy who can do well in the face-offs, who has some offensive touch, hasn't been fully realized with the Canadians, as we know. But even in his season with the Arizona Coyotes, when it was still during COVID, he had a pretty decent season that year before coming over to the Canadians. So you got to hope that he's going to be able to bring some veteran experience, right? This isn't a guy that's still developing like Kirby Doc. He's an established NHLer, Christian Dvorak is. So I feel like as soon as he gets back into this lineup, hopefully it'd be nice to see him as soon as in Buffalo. I doubt that's going to happen just because he probably wants to get some more practice reps in before actually getting some game action, which is a big jump, right? So we'll see what happens. The Canadians have four games this coming week, so you have to think that at some point they're going to try to get him into the lineup. That's my belief anyway. All right, so some news from practice today. Anthony Martineau, Martineau posting how the Canadians worked on the power play for a solid 20 minutes or so and still couldn't seem to get too much going. At one point, Mike Matheson actually showing his frustration. So... You know, I hope that's a good thing in the sense of getting the frustrations out in practice with the power play rather than continuing frustrations in game situations. So I'm hoping that that's going to be the case with the Canadians after working on it in practice so much today. So you saw the visible frustration from Mike Madison just kind of shooting the puck off the boards there. A kind of funny sequence here from Juraj Slavkovsky. They call this the potty drill or something. <laughs> He's parked out in front of the net with... <laughs> He's squatting in front of the net, doing this little practice drill here, having some fun with it. So good to see some lighthearted, fun content coming out of practice. But mind you, you know, it's good to see anything lighthearted and fun at this point because we're only three games in. But you can tell the Canadians are getting a little a little testy. You can even see Cole Caulfield in this interview clip here when asked about either the power play or something else. The uh, question was kind of cut out. So just take a quick second to look at this here. Were issues last year, do you sense that the same things are reproducing this year so far? No. Okay. I tell you, if uh, Cole doesn't like your questions, I mean, I don't I don't know. I, he just he just shuts it down. Nope. Simple answer. So he was asked more about the power play and the meeting with Martin St. Louis about the power play going forward and how Marty, as a power play specialist in his career, is going to have to contribute with Alex Burroughs. But you guys may have heard Craig Button the other day on the, on the Sick Podcast with Tony Marinero. It's up to Alex Burroughs to fix it. That's his job, to fix the power play. So we actually got to see the power play lines. In fact, I will pull them up very quickly on the fly as I do this one-take video here with you guys because um, some people are still complaining about the personnel on the power play units, and I'm just going to talk about those uh, very quickly as I pull it up here. But um, let's actually get uh, some translation here. So we've got on unit number two, we'll actually start with unit number two. We've got Tanner Pearson, Alex Newhook, Brennan Gallagher, Arbor Jackey, and Uri Slavkovsky. I think they're spreading out the love a little bit. I, I like to see that on the power play unit. With Pearson being a veteran guy, whether he's in the bumper spot or wherever he happens to be in front of the net, I think that Tanner Pearson, Brennan Gallagher both have opportunities to be net front presences, right? So I feel like those are good options on power play unit number two. And then power play unit number one, we've got Cole Caulfield, Sean Monahan. Josh Anderson, Mike Matheson, and Nick Suzuki. So to me, despite the frustration, you still have personnel that you believe can execute, especially with the first line, with with the first power play unit, Caulfield, Monaghan, Anderson, Matheson, Suzuki. Some complaining about Josh Anderson being on there, but I you gotta have you gotta have a big body out there, whether he's getting shots off, playing in the slot, getting in front of the goalie, what have you. But the point is they're working on it, right? So that's kind of the the whole brink the whole reason why I'm bringing that up here, but it's still an encouraging sign again to see Christian Dvorak return to practice. So hopefully the boys can put out a strong effort against Ovi and the Caps tomorrow night because the, the Capitals are coming off of what is it, a 6-1 loss to the Ottawa Senators. So they're going to be coming in nice and pissed off and Ovi's favorite building to play in, as he's always said, is the Bell Center. So Lord, <laughs> I keep praying. I keep praying for these guys because that's just what I do. I'm a praying person, whatever. But I will say that with Ovi coming in and the Capitals, 
they're going to be looking for an early spark in this game to, you know, try to do what Minnesota did. So the Canadians got to be ready to respond. So I'm really hoping that things are working on in practice, not just the power play, hopefully the penalty kill too, because we know they need help as well. We'll actually see some progress this weekend. We're going to need it before I head to Buffalo to go watch the Canadians there. Can't wait to bring you guys some content there. My buddy Kyle Bacoskis will be reporting live for Sportsnet at that game. So I'll be visiting Kyle in person, only for the second time in person. So that's going to be fun to see him. Going with my nephew, going with the fam. So it's going to be a fun night. In the meantime, we'll see you guys after the Caps-Habs game. Go Habs, go. And we'll see you guys real soon.